It's not what happens to us that will determine the major parts of our future. In fact, things are always going to happen to us. It's how we deal with it. It's how we react to it. How we respond to it, the obstacles and the hurdles that we deal with. I had a conversation yesterday with one of my agents and um, she was bummed out. She was discouraged. She was relying on three of her clients, three of her buyers uh, to buy this summer. And none of them are going to be buying anymore, uh, at least for the for the future, you know, near future, because because of everything that is happening. So I asked her a question. I said, so what's what's your plan? And um, she didn't have a plan. She wanted to ask me what I would do if I was in her situation. So this is what I shared with her that I want to share with you guys and, and hopefully it will help you as well. I'm sure some of us are kind of in the same situation right now. Uh, first and foremost, I think you should definitely continue staying in touch with your buyers. Educate them on what's going on with the market. Explain to them that things are probably going to get a little bit better in terms of their purchasing power. We're seeing more and more properties hitting the market. We're seeing more and more sellers getting flexible with their rates. We're seeing sellers are offering seller concessions and some of the uh, proceeds from those seller concessions can be applied towards paying down the points on the interest rate, right? But ultimately, if you look at the history, um, when we hit recessions, what government typically does is in order to reignite the economy, right? What they do is they lower the rate. So whether it's six months from now or a year from now or a year and a half from now, there's going to be a time when the government will lower their rate and the interest rates will go down again. And that's going to give them an opportunity to refinance. So the first thing is staying in touch with, with your current bars.